Well, I'm going to say that I'm an eternal optimist here, I guess, and uh, there's a lot of information out there about what has become of America, our political system, our uh, what's happening here, and I, I know a lot of people are saddened by a lot of that. They can list, listen to Alex Jones. There's so many sources of information that indicate the direction we're headed, uh, and you know, um, and that may all well be true. Uh, I think what we're dealing with is a worldwide revolution, and if these units, uh, whatever flavor they may be, come from another country, it won't be long before any country that fails to join the club will become less than a second-rate, third-rate, or even fourth-rate country. And quite honestly, I, I think at some point uh, there will be enough of us that tire of that, that that we will just somehow pick ourselves up and move forward the way we should have in the first place right here in this country. Well, I, I believe you wholeheartedly. I, I needed to be the devil's advocate and say it that way because it's going to take – people who have uh, foresight and the courage and the vision and the tenacity which you have to make this a reality. And that's why I thought it was important. I, I had your book for well over maybe two years and I kept saying, I need to talk to you about, you know, when I felt the time was right to come forward to, uh, to have these conversations. And then a couple of days ago I got the guidance that the time was now. I created a website. I, I hid the website, you know, it's just so that way I could have it there and talk to you thereafter about, you know, what your plans were with the hopes that you would say, yes, I'd like to go forward and I could use your support. And fortunately, the time was right. And as a result of that, the web, website became a reality. The talk show became a reality. And here we are pressing forward and marching on. Um, yes, and I, I, you're touching on several things. Um, there were many purposes in my writing the book. One certainly was to inform. One was to inspire. I found myself so inspired by the things that happened to me and the feeling that free energy gave me about how I would live my life in the future that I, I hope that there's something in that book that conveyed to you that hope, that feeling of a better tomorrow you know, uh, and, and that really is one of the things that is, is getting sort of lost in all of this where people feel kind of hopeless, that like there is no solution that they can get behind. Well, obviously there are solutions, but it's going to take someone such as yourself to get it out there. And this book, Free Energy 101, that's available at freeenergy101.webs.com, will enlighten you, the listener, to the possibility and the potential to a better future as we go forward. And the mind is like a parachute, Jerry. It can only work if it's open. We need now to be more open-minded than ever and not allow the naysayers or the spin doctors, if you will, to make it difficult for these technologies to become available. I tell you, and I hope, uh, I think you pointed out, my voice is contagious when, when people, uh, I, I just, I often quote it as saying, when you, when you start to feel it for yourself, it, it just changes the game when, when you feel what it is to either save energy at home or get healed by a strange energy in your body. When more and more people start to have these experiences, the, it, it, these are life-changing experiences for an individual. You know, it comes home to each and every one, you know. I mean, a lot of these things sound exotic, esoteric to people, and they go, you know, that's great, that's great, JT, you know, you have these great exotic experiences, that, but you know, how will this ever happen for me? And I'm saying, you know, it can happen for each and every one. It isn't just something that happens, this guy you heard heard about, JT, and, and, you know, that's part of what I'm trying to bring home for people is let's let this be an experience for each and every one, these, these homes that are saving energy so forth and so on, in a better way and more practical way than solar. Let me point that out. The device I'm talking about runs 24-7, 365. Solar needs batteries. It needs, there's wind. And, you know, these things do work. They certainly work. They're, they're a little expensive. They're a little cumbersome. They do work, though. Um, we're talking about something a little more uh, 
practical in the sense of, you know, the costs involved are lower and the maintenance is quite a bit lower. Well, I think that the time is now for this and people need to get behind this idea now like never before because right now with the soaring prices of uh, electric, the soaring prices of gas, you can't go to the market without experiencing a large increase in whatever you're purchasing. Well, yeah, and, and you know, there, there comes a, there does come a breaking point. And as I say, um, one of our, our main purposes here again is to just help inspire people to help pull them a little bit out of the dumpster a little bit with, with a story that I'm happy to tell. I, you know, honestly, Steve, I have to pinch myself a lot about all the things that have happened with me concerning this. A lot of times I find even the things I say and, and that I've written are even hard for me to believe. However, I'm the one that lived it and wrote it. So really amazing even to me as I sit back and look at it all. Well, the one story that you mentioned regarding the healing of your larynx in your throat when you were unable to speak, right now there are so many people that are in the hospital for illnesses that just, whatever the reason, the doctors can't help them. Your machine sounds like it has the ability to be proactive rather than reactive to help people feel better and allow them to stay healthier and not to get sick. Would that not be correct? Yeah, it would be the type of technology that the way I would like to see it used is, is like uh, anything in your home, an air conditioner or something like that, where you turn it on to condition the environment and create an environment of health, an environment where you just are more healthy. You know, the idea, of course, is why wait until you're on your deathbed to hope for a miracle cure? But yes, if in fact that's what you need, and that is what I needed that day. It was a miracle cure, and I got it. So, yeah, there's going to be a variety of uses of that healing technology that uses this unusual dominant energy to accomplish that. Well, that sounds like a breakthrough in itself with all the people in this country that are terminally ill or are suffering some sort of sicknesses that can't be cured. I think this is a godsend, if you will, that you could create something of this magnitude for the people of the world. Well, again, you know, I, I just have to stress, if it hadn't actually happened to me, I think I would have a hard time believing this as well. But, you know, I sit here knowing what happened, and, uh, you know, I'm amazed to this day. It happened many years ago, and I'm still amazed. What I would like to point out about some of the things I talk about is these are advanced technologies, and they will probably need some development to be practical on a day-to-day -day basis. And that healing one does need some additional development. So I would categorize the unit where it's at as experimental. Jerry, give out the website again so people can reach out to you and, and contact you, please. The website is Free Energy, F-R-E-E-E-N-E-R-G-Y, 101.webs, W-E-B-S dot com, C-O-M. And the name of your book, Jerry, let's get the name of the book out there. And that's Free Energy 101, and my book name is by J.T. Lightwalker. People ought to find that a very interesting pen name. We've got about nine minutes or so left here, Jerry. What would you want to share with the audience today? What is the, uh, the message that you would like to convey? Uh, I think probably part of the theme today has been inspiration and hope. Uh, for people to feel that there really are things out there that can make a difference for themselves and the world. Sometimes we all get lost in the troubles and problems of the world and we just see no end to it in sight. And so at, at the front end of it all, my front end intention is, is to sort of let people sort of see through my eyes, walk in my shoes a little bit by reading my book. And yes, it is a lot about me and what happened. Well, it's because, you know, I'm the one with these experiences and so forth and so on. They're more of a personal nature, you know. You can be kidnapped by aliens. You can do a lot of things. You can go through a time travel machine. And on and on it goes. These are all very exotic things. But, you know, I... What I tell people is when these things happen to you, uh, healing energy in your body or you teleport out of your body, it takes on a different flavor. It's one thing to hear about it, read about it. When it happens to you, it takes on a different flavor. And so I think that is a passion I bring to the table and more so that um, the message today is that we do have some practical technologies we can move forward with. To do that, we will need the help, the grassroots help make that happen. Well, that's exactly right. And I think that your your website, freeenergy101.webs.com, has a donate page on that. And anyone out there listening right now, I believe if you want to really help change the world now, 
that whether it be five dollars ten dollars if you can spare a hundred dollars or whatever the amount is please donate now to uh, to help jerry and his team of inventors to bring this technology to the world if only the 10 to 1 energy saver project if that's something that in your home that you see as a benefit i think that's worthy of a donation on your part if you have medical conditions that the doctors can't help you with then by all means this is something that you need to see available and not have to do without and have it affect your life in an adverse way. So right now I'm asking for everyone listening to donate because you'll see real results with real donations. I'm asking for everyone to help us help you. This is about all of us. We are all a collective. Together, we're going to make this happen. As long as we stand together, this is possible. I'm very glad, Jerry, you came on for our second hour to discuss this. Can you shed any more light on where we're going from here? Where we'll go from here, of course, is continue the effort of getting the information out. It's sort of like the Thrive movie, Foster Gamble says, continue to educate people about the information and keep them up to date on where the projects are that we are all participating in together. I would like to, a month or two, give people some exciting and good news that uh, one or more of the energy projects is funded or moving forward in some way. At the very least, though, we'll continue to talk about the book and get people to get that, read that. On, on the most immediate level, that information in that book um, may inspire people to go on, may inspire people to do things they, that they never dreamed they would do themselves. Well, I thank you, as I said again, from the bottom of my heart for coming on and continuing this dialogue because I believe wholeheartedly that when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And you have a way in Free Energy 101 to share with someone who doesn't have an electrical background, someone who has no education in that area, to get it, to stand it, and make you make it very palatable from someone to really be able to get the meat and the potatoes out of it and be able to have a, an insatiable appetite going forward to see these things become a reality. So I, again, I commend you for doing this coming forward. Whatever you do in the future, I am here to support you any way I can. Hope those listening out there today, go to your website at freeenergy101.webs.com and take an interest, buy the book, donate if possible, and help us all change the future. So Jerry, again, thank you. It's my pleasure to work with you. I, I really appreciate you taking personal interest in this, and that is really what I've asked a lot of people to do, whether it be uh, billionaire softwares or whoever they may be. I think without the personal interest, throwing aside, you know, where's your business plan, where's all this stuff at, you know, these types of models have created the world as it is, and, you know, the world's falling apart. You know, when people only do things because it's about making money, the free energy model is about abundance. It's about bringing a new way of living to life where, quite honestly, money is a thing of the past. As abundant, loving beings, we will find ourselves in a completely different world where money is like the last thing we're concerned. Money is like the last thing we're concerned. Well, right now, I believe that for us to thrive, we need to keep this vision alive. We need to have it happen with grace and ease, make it a reality. So I want to thank you again for coming on today. And I want to thank all the listeners for listening to Stevens World Talk Radio with Jerry Thomas. There'll be more shows like this. We're going to keep the focus on changing the future. So Jerry, it's been great. I will talk to you soon. on several things. Um, there were many purposes in my writing the book. One certainly was to inform. One was to inspire. I found myself so inspired by the things that happened to me and the feeling that free energy gave me about how I would live my life in the future that I, I hope that there's something in that book that conveyed to you that hope, that feeling of a better tomorrow 
you know, uh, and, and that really is one of the things that is, is getting sort of lost in all of this where people feel kind of hopeless that like there is no... I got the guidance that the time was now. I created a website. I, I hid the website, you know, it's just so that way I could have it there and talk to you thereafter about, you know, what your plans were with the hopes that you would say, yes, I'd like to go forward and I could use your support. And fortunately, the time was right. And as a result of that, the website became a reality. The talk show became a reality. And here we are pressing forward and marching on. Um, yes. And I, I, well, I, I believe you wholeheartedly. I, I needed to be the devil's advocate and say it that way because it's going to take people who have uh, foresight and the courage and the vision and the tenacity which you have to make this a reality. And that's why I thought it was important. I, I had your book for well over maybe two years and I kept saying, I need to talk to you about, you know, when I felt the time was right to come forward to uh, to have these conversations. And then a couple of days ago, I, I think what we're dealing with is a worldwide revolution. And if these units, uh, whatever flavor they may be, come from another country. It won't be long before any country that fails to join the club will become less than a second-rate, third-rate, or even fourth-rate country. And quite honestly, I, I think at some point uh, there will be enough of us that tire of that, that that we will just somehow pick ourselves up and move forward the way we should have in the first place right here in this country. Well. Well, I'm going to say that I'm an eternal optimist here, I guess, and uh, there's a lot of information out there about what has become of America, our political system, our, uh, what's happening here, and I, I know a lot of people are saddened by a lot of that. They can listen, listen to Alex Jones. There's so many sources of information that indicate the direction we're headed, uh, and, you know, um, and that may all well be true. Uh, 